Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to download and install Windows Admin Center in Windows Server 2019. Windows Admin Center is a remote management tool for managing your Windows servers or Windows 10 computers. Your servers may be physical, virtual, on premises in Azure or in a hosted environment at no additional cost. It simplifies server administration with streamlined server management tools. Windows Admin Center allows you to configure and troubleshoot your servers and manage all of your Windows server workloads remotely from a web browser and one location. It integrates your on-premise servers with Azure in just a few click. In this video, we'll download and install Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2019 which is a member server. For this demo, we are using the T-Slab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machines. One is our domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for my local domain. And second one is our member server with the host name ws2k19-srv01. We can install Admin Center on Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019 and newer version of Windows 10 computers. Keep in mind that installation on domain controllers is not supported. Let's jump to our member server. So this is our member server with the hostname ws2k19-srv01. On this member server, we'll log in using the domain admin's username and password. While Windows Admin Center is not included by default in current Windows Server versions, you can tell that Microsoft is pushing the use of Windows Admin Center. When you launch the Server Manager in Windows Server 2019, we will see a message box pop up telling us to try the new Windows Admin Center for Server Manager and that we can see here. Fine, so I'm going to close it and let me minimize the Server Manager. Uh, first, we will download the latest version of Windows Admin Center on this server. And for that, I'm going to open Microsoft Edge web browser. Let's search for Windows Admin Center. Here we can see to download Windows Admin Center, we need to click on this link. So let's click on there. It will take us to Microsoft Evaluation Center website. It is an MSI package. Let's uh, click on continue. Uh, fill up the required details to download this setup. After filling up all the details, now I'm going to click on continue. And now we will have a download link. So let's click on download to start downloading Windows Admin Center. Let's open download directory. We can see the setup Windows Admin Center 2103.2. This is the latest version at the time of this video recording. Let's double click on the setup to start the installation process. Accept the license terms and click on next to continue. Select an option to send diagnostic data to the Microsoft to make a Windows Admin Center better. You can send required or required and optional diagnostics data to Microsoft. Here I am going with required diagnostic data. Click next. I am going to click next since I have checked for the Windows update earlier and our member server is up to date. If your server is not up to date then you can select use Microsoft update. Let's click next. There are two modes that are supported for Windows Admin Center as detailed for the respective operating systems, desktop mode and gateway mode. In desktop mode, 
the windows admin center is locally installed on the same computer from which you are accessing it in gateway mode windows admin center is installed on a supported windows server version and can be accessed remotely from a client browser on a different computer here i'm going to click on next i'm not going to select use winrm over https only option otherwise we would need to set up lots of other settings to use it in this video we'll use default settings and that's why i'm simply going to click on next select the server port and certificate options by default in a gateway mode it will use port number 443 you can change it as per your requirement if iis service is already installed on the server then you cannot use port number 443 for admin center web interface in that case you need to change the port number since we are using https for web interface for admin center we need an ssl certificate as well by default the installation wizard will create a self signed certificate for us and bind it to the admin center web interface if you have already installed an ssl certificate on the server you can bind that certificate using the thumbprint of that certificate at this moment i'm not going to change anything we are going with the default installation option now let's click on install to start the installation process it will take a few seconds to complete the installation installation is finished successfully now we can access the windows admin center interface using the web browser keep in mind internet explorer is not supported web browser and this is the url which we need to use in our web browser uh, let me click on finish to complete this now i'm going to minimize file explorer and in a web browser i'm going to type the url https colon double slash then we need to specify the fqdn of our server uh, let me copy it This is the FQDN of our member server ws2k19-sav01.malbrutlocal. Now we simply need to press enter key. Provide username and password to access the admin center. I am using the domain admin's username and password to access Windows admin center. Let's specify the username administrator and its password. Click on OK. As you can see, the message successfully installed version twenty one zero three point two. I'm going to close it. Here we can see one more message that successfully updated extension catalogs. Here we can see the name of a server. Which is ws two k nineteen half an s r v zero one dot mile dot local, and at the end of the name you can see gateway. That means uh, we have installed Windows Admin Center on that server in a gateway mode. Now let's click on server name to connect it. we can see the overview information of our member server ws2k19-srv01 here you can see the computer name domain name information operating system version ram disk space and here we can see the current cpu utilization as well as memory utilization and ethernet adapter utilization from this console we can easily manage our servers using windows admin center web interface we can see we have lots lots of options let's click on files and file sharing and here we can see the c drive or we can see the folders which are created on our c drive or we can also click on file shares to see the list of share folders available on our memory server from this console we can also install rules and features as well to install any rule or feature you just need to select that rule or feature uh, select the checkbox in front of that rule and just click on install to start the installation process 
So that concludes the video on how to download and install a Windows Admin Center in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.